Okay, so just do a quick video on how I connected to Artisan with Bluetooth. It's really easy. You'll need to download Artisan. Now, personally, I've been having some issues with the 3.0, 3.1 version, so I'm running 2.10. Um, if you need the older version, you might be able to get one compiled somewhere. Um, so if you're having some issues with the newer version, that's probably why. Um, to start off, I just go to the settings and click Bluetooth on. And you'll notice over here on the screen, it takes a second. And you'll see the AK Roaster and click connect. The passcode is 1234. And I have this question come up on Clyde all the time. It's in my devices list, but it's not connected. That's normal because nothing's actually connected to it. All you've done is add it to your list. So this is totally normal when you see the not connected. Now, if you're using a PC, I'm not using a PC today, you'll see, you'll need to actually go into your device manager and figure out which port this is going on specifically. On Mac, it's quite a bit easier. So I don't really have a link to download the ASET file from. I was able to find it online. And for the first time when you're loading this, you'll probably not see anything on your screen. I was previously using this. So you need to go, a lot of people want to go to config machine. Now this isn't a machine that's been vetted by Artisan yet. So what the manufacturer has done is they've made an ASET file and you'll go to help load settings. And you'll find the Artisan settings file and click open. And what this is doing is, is actually making all the controls to control your roaster digitally on your Artisan screen. The next thing that you'll need to do, at least to verify, is go to the config port. And it will probably default to some sort of a COM port. Select the AK roaster. Now, if you have a PC, you'll have to go figure out which COM port this is. It could be an incoming and outgoing COM port. Uh, a little bit more complicated, but I've left everything else the same and clicked OK. And then when you click the on button, you'll notice that all these buttons show up on the screen. You have your burner plus minus 5% air, your bean cooling, that's when you drop the beans, your tray on and off. You have your drum speed. Maybe you can hear it. You have your air and you can turn your air completely off or all the way up. The burner's currently off and then this machine has the external filter so if you're not using that uh, you don't really need to worry about these buttons but it does have some additional buttons at the bottom. You can see we have our bean temp, our exhaust temp and our delta BT. Um, it's actually heating right now which I don't want it to do. turn off the burner but it's really that easy to get it connected to artisan um, supposedly you can connect via USB if you had like a USB A to USB A cable which isn't really your most common cable out there but they do exist uh, you can plug that into your laptop the main difference is going to be potentially some baud rate and your COM port will definitely be different but that's pretty much the overall of how to get this connected to Artisan. And once you get it connected to Artisan, I mean, I have other videos on how to roast on a curve. Um, you can save curves, create curves, but I really just like having this larger interface. It's really easy to see. Not that the small screen is necessarily bad, but it's a lot smaller, a little bit more difficult to maybe recreate a profile and save it. So just wanted to share on how to connect to Artisan.